G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft and Camping Adventures. My name is Craig, we're out here in the Wadigans National Park and all I've got to say is Yowie Wowie! Yowie Wowie! Wrestling fans will get that. We're out here to talk about Yowies, Australian Bigfoots, Yahoos, Hairy Man, the Australian Ape, whatever you want to call it. We're here to talk about it and why are we out here to talk about it? Well because I had some weird things happen to me. It's a really cool story. So. I've got something to play you, I've got something to show you, I've got a story to piece together. So this one's kind of freaky, hold on tight, here we go. Now when people hear Yowies, let's get this out of the way. Do I believe they exist? Maybe. Not definitely. We've explored about roughly 50% of this planet. Only 50% of this planet. And we found roughly 10 to 15% of the species we believe that will exist here. We've discovered them. There is a large window for other species to exist that have not yet been found. That is my core reasoning behind thinking that Yowies, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, etc. could exist. Wadigans National Park has been revealed to me, I had no idea, as a hotspot for Yowie sightings. Um, I've done my research and yeah, it's true. There's a whole bunch of them that have happened here and I've been coming here 10, 20 times and I didn't know this. I had no idea that I was apparently camping where the Yowies love to hang out. So I want to do a video because something happened to me recently and it's made me think back through things I've seen, things I've seen things I've seen and how they have maybe all been pointing in one direction Ugh, horrible band and that is that I m maybe maybe am having a few yaoi encounters myself so I'm gonna show you some evidence I'm gonna play you something that blew my mind and we're gonna do a little bit of research out here and see what happens let's get to the story so the other night I'm looking at my YouTube analytics which is basically the stats for my channel who's viewed my video, how much they're watching it, all, just all the stats from my YouTube channel. And I noticed that one of my old videos had a whole bunch of extra views. Not a lot, but like 30, 40 views out of nowhere. I found that strange. I investigated. What YouTube was able to tell me was that a website named yaoihunters.net had been sending a little bit of traffic my way on this, this video. I didn't know why. So I went to yaoihunters.net. I went to their forums because I'm smart like that. I searched through and I found at the top, um, the Pines Wadigans are these yaoi calls. And I thought, Pines Wadigans, that's me. Okay, all right, let's look at that. And sure enough, there was a guy, I believe Titler was his name, or if I got it wrong, sorry, man. Um, and he'd created a thread pointing at one of my early videos and this had said that in my video he believes I may have captured a, Lee, a Yowie call. Now I've loved, are you serious? I read the comments, people are like yeah it's not bad, it's possible you know. So I'm like laughing to myself. I go and check the video and well yeah maybe, maybe. It's certainly possible. I'm going to play these sounds for you a little bit later but I want to get through other evidence. Because it got me thinking. And some strange things happened to me in this forest, you know. Um, I've seen some things, I've heard some things, some things I haven't thought twice of, some things have freaked me out. But let's wind back the clock. I'm going to run you through all the possible evidences that I've come across in my stays here at Wadigans that could link this area where I am right now to Yowie habitation. I secretly hope it's true. I just don't know if it is. So back when I first started coming here, there was... Uh, it was a trip with Ross and George actually and as we were leaving the trip was finished and we were leaving and um, Ross pointed out three scratch marks across the trunk of a tree. We laughed about it. We may have even said yeah we at the time. Look at it here. You can see it. Bigfoot proof. Yowies are known to put claw marks into trees. They're known to rip, they're known to rip back bark in order to find grubs or for whatever reason they do these things if they do these things as I say grain of salt so we had these scratch marks and in my brain thinking okay there was something with scratch marks on a tree that I saw all right cool Yao is also known to get trees you know often this thick or a little bit thicker it's not like 
about this high. Okay, this one is definitely rotted out. So this is not a Yowie thing, but imagine a tree about that thick and imagine it was super healthy and it was just snapped. Yowies are known to snap trees about six or seven feet high in half. That's apparently a thing that they do. Now, I've seen when a big tree comes down and takes out a smaller tree with it and snaps it, possibility. I've seen rotted trees like that, that snap, possibility. But what we're talking about in Yaoi terms is very healthy trees snapped in one fell swoop and laid down. I don't know if it's a territorial marker, if it's a, if it's a waypoint to something. I know a lot of indigenous people would, um, would bend trees to mark out directions and stuff of certain things, food sources or similar. So I thought about that and I remember it's not there now unfortunately I've burnt it for wood. When I first started coming to these sites I absolutely had a tree that matched that description. Let's look at it here. You can see it. Now I investigated that tree myself because I used it for wood and let me tell you there is no way that was a rotten out unhealthy tree that was healthy as an ox because I thought I'd found gold when I got it. It was gold, it was cut for me, it was off the ground. The, 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 the tree hadn't even hit the floor, it was still hung up in the canopy. So there's no way that another tree had landed on that and taken it out. Just hold one second there, Craig. Wait a sec. It's later on in the trip and I'm in another part of the bush now. I found a tree break. This, you can see the green leaves. And this part of the tree that's after the break is clearly dead. What I'm putting two and two together here is that when this tree broke, this top part that I'm holding on to that is now broken would have been alive. There's no log around that has been felled. No natural break cause. So that, that is at about eight feet tall. So that's interesting. Back to you, Craig. So I thought to myself, well, okay, that's actually two pieces of possible evidence to say that maybe there is a Yowie thing going on. So my brain kept ticking over. And then I thought back to the symbols, the bloody symbols on my bushcraft bed. Check this out. What are these symbols? Who could forget those? I still wonder what the heck they are. Runic letters written in charcoal on my bushcraft bed. What is all that about? Odds are someone's rocked up. I don't know why they chose to put runic letters on there. I still don't get who would do that unless they're a well-educated person and they're messing with me, well done if you are. But there is accounts of Yahweh's in communication with people supposedly, actually I think in these cases they're Sasquatches, so they're just in a different part of the world, communicating with, you know, so to speak, pen and paper. Even so far as drawing images. Um, these pictures here are supposedly drawn by Yahweh. Again, we don't know if it's a hoax, every chance that it is but we don't know. So, what's the odds that a Yowie came by my campsite, picked up a piece of charcoal and wrote some kind of language? I mean, many people have said that they can speak in certain languages, Latin being one of them, so ancient languages. I don't know if this is true. I'm not asking you to believe it's true. I'm just telling a story. And what if the Yowie wrote in charcoal, charcoal on my bushcraft bed and that's who the communication's from? I don't know. Now, you've possibly seen something behind me and we'll get to that in a second. But before we get to that in any serious way, and I hope that your eyes have picked it up as well as mine have, that let's get to these Yowie calls. So this forum on yowiehunters.net, and if you're interested in Yowies, I'm going to give these guys a plug because they're lovely. It's a great website. Go check it out, yowiehunters.net, and go look at hell. Go and contribute to the thread, it's live, it's active right now. There is definitely a belief that these could be Yahweh calls. There is definitely a belief that if they are, it's some of the best that has ever been recorded, which kind of tripped me out. But let's play them for you now. The context. It was in the morning. I had a walk by of sorts in the night where I heard bipedal footsteps. Felt like it was either side of me, walk past my sight. I didn't see people, I didn't see torches, I didn't hear, hear talking. It was definitely pitch black. I assumed an animal of some description. The steps were fairly steady. 
they didn't really stop they just walked past and kept going um, I didn't pull out my torch because truth be told I was kind of like who the, who the hell's at my campsite um, but they happened they happened so there was a walk by that night and then in the morning this is what I heard you be the judge before you listen if you got headsets put them on and if you don't turn your volume up when you because uh, you're gonna need high volume because I were off in the distance I hope you can hear that. What's that? What was that? I played it three times for you. I can hear him in my head right now. And I haven't heard these calls for a while, let's be honest. I used to hear them regularly when I first started coming here. Haven't heard them for a while, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that says. So I don't know, if you recognize that as some kind of animal call, put it in the comments. Like factually, like if you know that's an animal call. If you can knock this one on the head, knock it on the head. Tell us what we're listening to and I'll believe you. But it's not all. Right here, man. Right here is something that I was walking around this morning and I found and my jaw hit the floor. Yahweh's are known to build tripod structures in the bush. Nature is also known to build tripod structures in the bush. Let's not pretend. Sticks fall, they get caught in forks, they land on the trees that are already standing, and if enough do it, it will create a tripod. The odds aren't great that it'll happen too efficiently, but it happens. But I found the tripod shape not for sleeping in I, I don't know what it means again could be a marker could be a territorial thing i have no idea but i found one and i'm looking at it right now it's one tree supporting at least three other logs to create a tripod shape let's have a look now, i've done that i have not done that that is not me. You don't have to believe me, but that is not me. I have not done that. So you can see here we've got one, we got one log. It's actually resting between two forks. We've got a stick there as well. Then we've got another fork here with another log. Then we've got a bigger fork coming back to here with the biggest log in there. Now, let's play skeptic. This log here likely snapped from here snap down and land it back in all right this one i don't know i don't know where that came from because it's not part of this tree like this one probably is and there's no other of this species within the near vicinity that i can see so i don't know where that came from but the one that's tripping i mean this could this could have landed here these could have just landed here although that's weird, they've twisted together. Look at that. They're actually stuck together. That's weird. I can't separate them. That's weird. I cannot separate them. They are stuck together. Okay. And, 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 and this is in the ground and this is not what the heck look this one goes all the way down and he's still alive he's still in the ground whereas this one it's not even the same not even the same tree i don't know i don't know that's stuck together that is weird in itself anyway but that's not the biggest weirdness the biggest weirdness is the biggest log this definitely did not land here there's nothing above that would drop this log Right. But what there is, right, it's landed there. Pay close attention to this. Okay, and then look at that tree, follow it up to that dead branch and see where it's snapped off. And we come down to the ground, we find this. I believe that that has fallen from above, because look at this. It's almost exactly the same as what we see on the log 
in the tripod, right? But it snaps off here. So that should be lying here. Okay, so that log that is in the tripod should be lying down here, but it's not. It's five meters away, propped up against this tree. See again, look, it's the same. So that's been intentionally placed there. At the very least, that log has been intentionally placed. Wadigans is a hot spot, which means you're going to get a lot of people who believe in Yowies and want to leave little things for people like me to find. Someone could have made this. Still don't get the sticky together of the sticks, but someone could have made this. All right, I'm not going to say it's in. I'm not going to say it's impossible. But there's one more piece of evidence just over here. Look at this. Here. Stick. 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 Look in there. Now I don't know what this is. This could very well... This could very well be natural. I don't know what it is. It's old. Is that... Luke, is that a Yawi baby den? I don't know, I don't know what that is, but it's a stone's throw. It's again, five meters. It's five meters from the tripod. So what is all this, man? What have we got here? I don't know what we have. I don't know. But we've absolutely got a tripod next to a mysteriously odd structure. This is where it comes down to belief. If you believe in Yowies, you're gonna put two and two together. If you think I'm a madman, despite the little statistics I gave you at the start, well then you're gonna say, you know, it's like pareidolia. You're seeing faces in clouds because your brain is predisposed to do that. I'm seeing tripods, but nah, man. You just don't see tripods like that in the bush. Look around, look, I'm gonna scan, right? Do you see any other natural tripods like that? Look how much that stands out. Bang. It stands out. It stands out. I don't know, but look, we're going to do an experiment. Supposedly, Yowies like to be left food. But there's issues of dependency, and I don't want to mess with diets, and I don't want to get angry Yowies who want food when I'm not giving it. But supposedly, Yahweh's also like to be given little trinkets and things. So what I've done, I've bought a couple of little trinkets and things, but I'm going to go leave them back at the tripod. The theory suggests that Yahweh's will come and collect them, possibly leave me a gift in exchange. It's a way of me to say, welcome, I know I'm in your territory, here's a gift. And it's just, you know, maybe one way to build trust. If these things do exist, then I for one would like to be someone who tries to make them think that humans aren't all that bad. So, try to think like a semi-intelligent, possibly humanoid, possibly an actual intelligent animal. What might they find interesting? A seashell. You can't get these here. Might be really interested by that, so I'm going to put that down. A car. All right, any Yowie, if they're real, would have seen cars and might be interested in a toy car. Chance to examine things closer. And unfortunately, I cannot recall the name of this uh, precious stone, but my son broke it. He broke a, a little display stone that we had, and so I'm taking a chunk of it because you can't find that here. And there's stories that Yahweh's love this kind of thing. So, I am also going to, a little bit later, and I'll splice it in here. I'm going to craft little humanoid stick figures. Just made out of sticks and vines and stuff, just for fun. And I'm going to put it down here too. And the hope is that because this isn't food, I can't say, oh, possums ate it or birds ate it. Either someone takes this or they don't. And if this tripod theory is true, then the Yowie knows this spot. So, 
I'm going to strategically place these on the tree. Alright guys, well it's now the morning after and let me tell you about last night. Slept like a baby, had no problems there, definitely heard some footsteps. Um, I would say most likely a possum behaving strangely, they didn't sound like heavy footsteps at all. Just odd, but I think uh, my guess at the time was eh, it's a possum and I didn't even think twice about it. But just want to document it just in case. now. We're about to head over to the site. Let's look at our expectations. Expectations, absolutely zero. All the little trinkets are still gonna be there. They're gonna be undisturbed in their entirety and I will leave them there till I return next time and see what happens. And next time when I return, they will probably be entirely undisturbed again. If, however, they're gone, you're gonna watch a man's world just change before your very eyes. I will flip out. So, let's go find out. Alright, so we're coming up to the site now. Yeah, there they are, completely untouched. Damn it! So I'll leave them there. There's an ant checking them out. So what we'll do, we'll leave them there till next time. And we'll just see if they've been, uh, see if they've returned at all. Such a beautiful spot. So the Wadigans Yowie. Definitely not an impossibility. Um, Gigantopithecus, Australopithecus, relic species. You know, undiscovered species, it's definitely not impossible and it's definitely something that I'll keep my ears and eyes on. Um, if I hear anything, if I see anything, if there's any movement or progress in this story in the future, I'll be sure to get back to you guys and let you know. For now, it's going to remain unconfirmed and it's going to remain a bit of fun because, I mean, this thing here still exists. This thing here is still a thing. The voice recordings are still a thing. And um, Undiscovered Planet is still a thing. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it for a bit of something different. And until next time, I'll see you later. Yowie wowie! Yowie wowie!